Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do an updated um, clothing supplies collection because I've added a couple of things, a couple of things have changed. Uh, so just bear with me guys because I'm going to have to do it bit by bit. And first of all I'm going to start off with everything that I keep on my big shelf which is sort of behind me. So we'll get the boring stuff out of the way. We've just got white gesso, white gesso, clear gesso. And I've got some um, blue mask, so you use this, you pop it on the page, let it dry. And you can go over with watercolour, not worry about going over them areas, because once you've finished and the picture is dry, you can then peel this off, which is quite handy. So they're the first three things. I'm trying to do this sort of organised, so I'm not left with a big mess, but we'll see. I've got all my pan pastel supplies. So I've got the original skin palette, which I've added a couple more shades into that. Uh, I've got my blues, yellows and greens. I'm all earthy tones and one red. Two of the glitter ones and all of my pastel. That one, the pastel and the skin one is probably my favourite. I do need to use them more. I do keep saying that, but it doesn't happen. Carefully put them on the floor. What I keep in this Tupperware container is basically everything that I use with the pan pastels. I actually, tr I've not tried these yet, I've bought them and not tried them. It's it's actually makeup uh, brushes for blending, like foundation powder, whatever you want. So I thought that they might be okay you know, for background. So I've got a selection of different sizes of them. There is all the tiny tools, rubbers, anything like that in this smaller container. Spurs, the kitchen roll to wipe off the tools when you finish with the colour. Uh, all sorts in here, that's a blender. You've got all the soft pastel tools, rubbers, you know, anything to do with pastels is in this container. Now can I get it back in the way that I put it in before? That would be okay. So that just sits on my bookshelf. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, this is a new storage solution. Uh, I got this from Primark, actually. It's actually for makeup, I think. Well, I mean, you can put anything you wanted in it. But if I just turn it upright, you can see that it's got two drawers. I'm making a mess. Two drawers and one bigger drawer. And I've put all of my nail colours in this one. So let's just move them back. So all my Neo Core 2s live here. The idea behind this was I'm, these are the supplies that I've not been using too often. So if I keep this right on my desk and I'm seeing them every single day, I'm more inclined to use them. These here are just cheapy loose glitters that I got off Amazon. These are the two wow glitters, which they are definitely wow. And if you use them with the little glue pens, oh, it's beautiful. This is the other shade that I've got. This is probably my favourite. This is like a mixture of all the colours, like a silver base. Really, really nice. So this now lives just in front there, just in front, and I put my light in it. The first drawer here, the top one, we've got all the embossing powders. Again, I need to mess with these. I just probably need more confidence to use them if I'm honest because they are quite uh, different, let's say. In the bottom one, I haven't put this in because I don't use it often because I do use this one quite often, but it fitted nice in the space. So that's the KJ Designed by Karen Watercolours. I've got some loose uh, handmade watercolours by GD. What's it called? GD? I can't remember the name of the company. But again, she's off the uh, Etsy. And they're the glitter ones that I have shown before. The only thing is with this company, she doesn't give you the tins like the ones with the KJ Designs, which I think, you know, if you're spending that much money on it in the first place, you shouldn't have to buy a tin separately as well. But you do with that company for whatever reason. Uh, I've got Distress Ink just here with the tools. Uh, and I've got two Winsor & Newton inks just sitting at the back, one in gold 
I'm wanting silver. So we'll move on. This little basket I keep right at my feet. And it toses. I've got pure alcohol that I've got for if I break a pan pastel that fixes them. I've got a zesty blender. This is really good for blending uh, colour pencils. It works really well on uh, Prismacolors. We've got PVA glue, we've got random brushes that I use for the different things in this basket. We've got the Mod Podge, the Extreme Glitter one. Again, I've done a review on my channel of this. Uh, masking tape, I always need that for doing my watercolours. Uh, these gel pens are the Jelly Roll, the whole set of the Jelly Roll and the Pentel Hybrid Jewel and I've got a backup set in there, that's why it does look quite full. Uh, these little plastic bags I got to mix the embossing powders together to make my own colours. Like I said, PVA glue, there's a ruler, there's my glossy accents, which the lid is completely sealed on that now, so I need, I need to figure out how I'm going to fix that. I've got the crackle accent, which is very similar to this one, but when it dries, obviously it, it dries as a crackle, so it's good for like, um, you know, like snake skin, that sort of thing. And the last thing that's in here is the quickie glue pens that I use with the glitter and that's fabulous. I do apologise for my nails, I've not done them yet. I still want to go and get them done because I'll go away in a couple of weeks so there's no point because we're going twice. Anyway, going off topic. And a random piece of bubble wrap that I do use for backgrounds because it gives a good texture to the paper. You know when you're mixing it with watercolours. And same with the sponge, that's why the sponge is here. Let's pop all this back in. And that just lives just at my feet under my desk. Right. My alcohol markers. We've got the Ohuhu. We've got Lamouche, but I've got other uh, alcohol markers in there. I will talk you through them. Oops, a daisy. We've got the Spectrum Noir pastels. And this is, I do need to take them out of here. It does, I reminded me. So this is the Crayola Super Tips. I believe that there's 50 colours in there. I'll be honest, I don't reach these all that often, but it is nice to have them. I've got the, like I said, the Spectrum Noir pastel set, which the light's going to probably wash them out. But there's nice purples, uh, skin tone colours in there actually, greens, pinks. That's a very nice set. If I'm going to be using my uh, alcohol markers it's either this brand or it is the Lamouche. The Ohuhu, I think that this is the 80 count. So there's 80 in there, which I don't always reach for them because I don't really like the smell of them. Uh, I do want to get a full set of the uh, Lamouche ones, I like these ones better. So I'll just open these up. I've got a few different brands in here actually. Right, so the Lamouche ones. This is the skin tones as well as I've got some Colpic, the is it Cleo? The skin ones. I've actually used one of these ones up already, so I'm down to four, I believe. Yeah, four. And then I've got a pack of uh, Windsor and Newton brush markers, the skin set. Again, I'm not overly keen on these. I wish I'd just stuck with the new shade. I really do rate these alcohol markers. And that's why I do want to get the full set of them. I believe it's 168 plus two blenders or three blenders. I can't quite remember. Right. Uh, single pencils that I've just got as backups. Um, so I'll start off with this. So the reason that I've got these, these are the one, one of the first, I think, if not the first brand of adult um, pencils that I bought, you know, for adult colouring. And it's the Marcora Fiends. So they're just in there. I have got backups of the Polychromos because I started to buy them out single and then I bought the 12 pack, I believe the 24, and then I bought the 120. And as you know, I did get another set sent out to me, but I'm, I think I'm going to sell them. I think I'm, because I'm never going to get through all these pencils. 
so yeah these are all the singles that i've got so you know even with the full 120 set that i've got with these i don't think i'll ever run out of these pencils so the next thing is these ones are all very old very very old so these are pastels soft pastels A lot of people have actually got this uh, brand soft pastels. I mean, they're fine, they, they do the job. There are like used Q tips and everything in there. I was going to actually try, my son wants me to put purple in the end of his earth when we go away, so I'm going to try and use one of them and see if that works. There's no way I can really die yet. So, yeah, that's the soft pastels. If you're interested in any of these products just co comment down below and i will uh, try to leave a link some of these items like i said they are quite old now so i don't know if you can get some of them uh, oil pastels i'm still learning how to use these and the zestic blender blender works really well with these like mixing the colors together so there's 50 colors in there and there's a you know it's a good selection of pastels to darks you know there's two whites in there as well Right, so the next area I'm going to work on is, let me take this big basket out. So you've seen these quite a few times, I've even got paint in there that I want to use up so I'm not washing it out just yet. Oh, it's quite heavy this night. And I'm spilling everything. So I've got my tub of acrylic paint, my very favourite one is the Americana. Thanks to DD, I bought this one, it's the best black I've ever used. I bought a small pot of the white just to do little highlights, dots, that sort of thing. And then this is the full set of the uh, teaser acrylic paints. Don't get me wrong, they are really good paints, but I struggle putting pencil over the top, which is what I'm, ma the majority of the sound, that's what I do. I use it for backgrounds or a wash of colour and then go over the top with some sort of pencil. These don't work very well with that. If I'd have known that before buying them, obviously I wouldn't have bought them. But they're there anyway to use. If I just want to do a solid background colour, then you know they're fine for that job. So let's try and squeeze these back in because I'm planning on everything is falling everywhere. Uh, before I forget, my swatch book that I use obviously for all my swatching, colour testing, etc. It's not very neat, do forgive me. So we've got the Jane Davenport colour sticks, we've got the Spectrum Noir, the pastel set, as you can see they're really gorgeous colours, the jelly rolls, the Arteza acrylic paints, ink tents, my chlorophenes, black widows, all the Ohuhu and Lamouche markers, I think the Windsor and Newton ones are actually swatched out on this one as well. Prismacolor. Our teaser, 120, Core I know watercolour pencils, uh, Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens, uh, Neo Colour Twos. That's what I use sometimes, as, you know, for putting in the back of my pages when I'm painting. Uh, this is Faber Castell Polychromos. Our teaser Everblend markers in a skin tone set. I did actually buy these and I sent them back. I didn't like the one that I didn't like the colour variation these three colors and these ones at the bottom possibly a couple in the middle of light and i didn't like this portion so for that reason i sent them back unfortunately i've wasted a page on that so some of the pan pastels not all of them a few it's all swatched out i've not even wrote the names on them ones and then there was a couple of pages uh, if i can find them for skin tones there's a skin tone that debbie loves to color did that i've kept Another skin tone shade, like all Prismacolor skin tones, Faber Castell, Black Widow, and I think that's more or less everything that's in this book. I think I, I am wanting to downsize this and just buy a normal diary, like a normal planner size, and swatch everything out. But I've, I wouldn't even like to think how long that will take me. Right, so I'm going to work and these drawers so please do bear with me because I'm going to have to pull them out and pop them back one at a time. So these pads I got from the local, I don't know if you call it an art store, a book store for works and therefore I just noticed that there's loads of marks on this one here, they're meant to punch out. 
You see? You see? I use this collage. It's all basically a collage. And they're only a pound each. And they do the job. So I've got a couple of sharpeners, stuff for painting. There's all sorts in here. There's stencils for pastels, soft pastels, anything. Q-tips. This is sort of a my messy drawer. Forgive me. That's about that one. I do keep this literally right under my desk. It's uh, quite close. This is more acrylic paint that I bought, bought in bigger bottles. And ribbon that I'm going to use for collage as well as glittery ribbon. And this, I actually handmade this um, and soaked it in tea bags to stain it. And again, I've used that in a couple of my pages. I can't really see where it was in here, it's not very well lit. Again, this is not organised and this is, I'm going to, once I finish this video, I'm going to be organised. So we've got the Lumi Shader Blender pen, I'll get that there handy. We've got washi tape, Posca pens, stickers, stencils, more sharpeners, more stencils at the back now. Do you think I like stencils? Uh, the lids for the pan pastels. I don't want to get rid of them just in case I want to take some, I, you know, depot them and have them as singles. So I've kept them. And the next one. This is a little bit more organised. You can forgive me here. So I've got the Ganzai Tan Mystery Colours and the Pearl Colours. If you've used these, you know what they're like. They're fantastic for the for the price. I've got four gelatos. Uh, a set of Jane Davenport Silky Skin, which, where's the clip? There it is. Really nice selection of colours. These are really good for backgrounds. Very good for backgrounds. Intense Blocks. Oh, the name of that other company, here we've got, is GD Colour. That's the name um, on the Etsy store. A couple of things that I've got sent. That, you know, keepsake things that I keep under there. A Neo Colour 1 that I got sent by mistake by a company. I've got some white compressed chalk. That's quite good for highlights. Then there's only one drawer left in this section. And this houses all of my stickles. So all of this, all this here is stickles. And then we've got some Dovecraft here, and these are all the Dovecraft 3D pearl effects. So when they dry, they dry like 3D on the page. Again, I've talked about these before on my channel, they are quite nice then. So they go back in the home. Right, I'm going to work on the trolley now that sits right behind me. I've got a rose gold uh, trolley that I got from Hobbycraft. And the first thing that I keep in here, which is probably my most used uh, supply, is my Prismas. Which luckily I've got a set of 72 as a backup for when these do start running more. Um, I've actually got some spurs as well. I've already dug into one of the spurs already, which is the uh, light peach. But yeah, lovely pencils. I can't complain about them. I've got another little swatch boot that I just use as I'm going, you know, to pick colours. I did actually swatch out um, them new paints, the pretty excellent ones in this. So I'll just keep that handy. I've got a circular colour chart again. I use this quite often to decide what colours that I'm going to be using. The next pencil case on the top row, I only keep two pencil cases actually on the top row is my polychromos pencils so this is the full 120 set and as you can see they're not as used as prismas i probably just need to practice a little bit more with these to be honest uh, when is it not back up? otherwise our pencils everywhere and the next thing on the top of the trolley we've got two tubs so the first one, I keep all my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. My son actually bought me this and this for my birthday. So yeah, I, keep, I usually keep these on my desk. If they're not on my desk, you know, they're in the trolley. And then anything to do with blending 
uh, black fine liners, white gel pens, I've even got a glue pen there, there's the Prisma blender, uh, we've got the Faber Castell blenders, white jelly roll, white uh, Uniball signal, which are really good, Posca pens, my teeny teeny tiny, look at the size of it now, white peach, I'm just keeping an extender, I've got the Coran Dash blenders, yeah, so anything to do with blending that stays there and right at the side of me. I've got the Helix Crank Sharpener, which is the only sharpener that I use. If I'm out and about, obviously, that's too big to take out. And I will use, I can't remember the name of this, and I do need to empty this. How to me. It is a M and R sharpener, and I've actually got spare blades for this. And this is brilliant as well. But uh, if, I'm, if I'm at home, I'm colouring up my desk, it's always the Helix that I use. And this is, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, it's a sponge, but you'd, you'd see these in the bank, like when people are counting the knots. And I've put the Zest It Blender in this, and then dip either my paintbrush or uh, blending stump into that. And you get a little bit of the product on the brush or the stump, whatever, instead of it just completely soaking. And it has, a, it has got a bit of a batter in that now. I've got the Colour Pencil Powder Blender that I use with the Polychrome Pencils. I've got what everybody else has got in the desk, uh, post-it notes and tags for finished pages, <laughs> very random but I keep two hand sanitizers in the top part as well and some sandpaper to clean off the blending stumps. Let's put these back so we're not in a mess. Slowly but surely we get in there, Another two more, two more that draws to go. So everything to do with watercolours is um, on this shelf as you would say. So I've got all my watercolour brushes. I just keep in an old mug. I've got a spray for getting the watercolour ready. I've got a very old tea towel because I refuse to use kitchen roll constantly so that does the job. I have got a Caran d'Ache uh, palette that I use with the neo colours. I will not use my acrylic paint with this because it will just destroy it even though it says it can be used with that. I'm not doing. Uh, there's two pencil cases that I've got down here. One for my ink tents. So I've got the full set of 72 and I actually got these at a bargain price at the time. I think I paid something like 37 or 38 pounds for the full set. It was on a crazy deal at the time on Amazon. I've got the Core I Know Watercolour Pencils, which again, these are lovely. I probably should have got two different colours. I've got to write on the back, but back and front of them. So yeah, because I have started getting, you know, more into watercolour paints, I find these uh, very time consuming, sitting there basically colouring to then go over the top to blend it out with water, whereas I could just use watercolour paint. I mean, they will come in handy for small areas, but you know, in general, I'm not it. I don't use them very often. Right, so my watercolour palette's next. So my most recent one is the Pretty Excellent one. And I've actually finished page, two pages with this. And I'm, again, I'm really impressed with the quality of it. Uh, the swatch card is right here. I know there's nothing in the pan, but I do promise, look how vibrant they are. And I paid about 15, 16 pounds and they come in a really nice quality palette. So that's my pretty excellent. I've got the Paul Rubens, the biggest set that you can get. It's, is it 24? 24. Which comes in a gorgeous, gorgeous baby pink palette your ring at the back the pretty excellent palette actually came with that and i will not use this or this for mixing colors because i don't want to get dirty how silly is that but yeah gorgeous palette and his blanket that i always put into bed <laughs> say that every time i'm pretty sure i do anyway and that's the swatches of the paul rubens 
I don't know if I'll be able to make it catch the light. Oh, there you go. Gorgeous colours. My very first watercolour palette was the Winsor & Newton. I got this on a pretty good deal as well from a local art store. So there are all my swatches and there's the colours. I was actually silly and mixed acrylic paint in the suit and I can't get it out. I'm wondering if that rubbing alcohol would work. I don't know. But yeah, they're all right. They're good, they're good quality. But I just prefer the next palettes that I'm going to show you. Which are my beloved Prima palettes. You all know how much I rave about these. And for good reason. The price of them, the quality of them, the tin that you get with them, the colour choices, everything. I just love them. Look more. Look more. It's like Pokemon. So this is the Decadent Pies. This is the first one that I started off with and I managed to create some gorgeous skin tone colours with this one. I really did. The cream ain't the butter ain't, they're easy to apply, they're easy to blend, they dry quickly. And the complexion palette, which is more for skin tones, which it's good. But because I got so used to using this because I had this for weeks in advance, it was sort of I know how to do this now. <laughs> I mean the colour choices. Uh, pastel Dreams. I thought this would be my very favourite palette, and it's not. The last one is. So, oh yes, I forgot about these. These are two separate watercolours that I got from GD Colour off Etsy. Same place that I got the glitter, because I just felt like I was missing these colours. But now that I've put them in the palette, that one and that one look completely identical. So, silly me. That's a different uh, yellow. I'll still use it. So you sw swatch them there. They are slightly different. Very, very, very slightly. This is more of like a grey toned blue that's more translucent so like i said i will use them my very favorite is the vintage pastels which they're so unusual the colors i've never seen a palette like it gorgeous colors if you're thinking about getting any of them i'd either get the decadent pies or the vintage pastels right I've only got a couple of more things to show you, so if you've lasted this long in the video, <laughs> thank you very much. That's the last thing on this shelf is a watercolour ink. Now, I was playing with this for the first time last night, and where is it? There it is. I mixed quite a dark purple with it, though it's dried a lot darker. But I promise you, it was the most pastel lilac that I've ever seen even more so than the Prima palette so I'm going to do probably a little bit more testing with this later on and try and mix it with all sorts of colours and see if I can create my own uh, pastel palette that I can keep going back to but yeah it's just a it's like a thin acrylic consistency I mean I can't really turn it though that's probably the best I can show you so it's quite watery it's like if you walk mixed acrylic with a bit of water that's what it's like um i've never tried gouache so i don't know if it's anything like that but yeah that's very very handy to have Naj. Um, i'm not going to be able to put these back in the order that i had them i had everything on there organized really uh, nice so i'm gonna have to go through and do everything again that's what's me this one side and the last couple of things that i have got Oh, I'll say it now as well. This is not bragging. It's just that I enjoy watching these videos. Um, so I just thought you guys might enjoy watching them as well. Like I said it's not me really bragging. It's just showing you what I've got. And if you want any tutorials or, you know, to see things in closer, then you just let me know. Uh, this is the Black Widows. Four sets of the Black Widows. One, two, three, four. There's five palettes, five min not mini smaller palettes. So, all the colours in there, the skin sets are in here, all separate. These are the pencils that I'm going to take away with me, purely because they're not, the quality is pretty good and I won't be too upset if something were to happen to them. I don't think it will. Either these or the next pencils, which are the uh, teasers. So this is the full set, the new 120 set of our teasers. And yet again, these remind me so much of the polychrome ones, but a softer version. 
So if you're looking for a good quality budget friendly pencil, I would really recommend these. I really would. I recommended these to a couple of people. Right? Uh, in the last set of pencils, you can tell these are less used because they're just at the bottom of my pile. <laughs> Is the uh, Castle Arts. These weren't my favourite. These really weren't my favourite. I'll probably end up giving these away to my son. Uh, he does a lot of colouring and needs stuff for school, etc. So I thought probably will end up giving these to him. Uh, the pigment's okay. They don't blend the greatest, uh, I'll be honest, but they are a budget pencil. But if you want something budget, I would really stick with the Arteza. The colour range with them and the way that they blend is brilliant. So I do believe, now that I'm looking around, I do believe that is everything. I picked up some makeup sponges today, I don't know if that's interesting. But I'm going to use them and rip them up and use them for different types of effects for watercolour. Um, I'm just double checking, double checking everything. I'm pretty sure that is everything. There's a hairspray over there that I use my, with my pan pastels to set my pictures. So that's the only thing that I'm probably not sure. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because I know I've got some new stuff and I've not shared it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one guys. Bye bye.